Welcome to Golden Boy Insider. I'm your host, Bethel Duran. We take you behind the scenes with the fighters. You know, we can ask them about boxing, but you can go anywhere and get that kind of information. I want to know who they are, what's going on with them, how they're feeling. Today's guest, Maurice Hooker. Mighty Mo, you'll see him on the zone August 6th from Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. Not too far where he calls home. Maurice? Yes. Mighty Mo, how you doing, man? Doing good, doing wonderful. Yeah, all right. Let me get the boxing questions out of the way. How was camp? How do you feel? All that other yeah. stuff. Okay, you don't have to have yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is some of the weirdest questions you get, right? Yes, yes. I, I always interview. I would be the same questions. But, but you're very professional. You answer them all the right way. Yes. Um, how how's your weight? It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's, what about the other one? Like, oh, what's the game plan? Like, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, so how you gonna beat them? With my left hand? <laughs> it, I mean, you understand some of the questions yeah. you got to ask because it's a simple one. But right. after a while, it's like, oh, man, you're asking me about weight right now, and I'm trying to make weight? Yeah, over and over. Yeah. How old were you when you first started boxing? I was 16. 16? Yes. What got you into the gym? My stepdad. I used to get in trouble a lot. I used to fight a lot. And he was like, man, you want to fight? You want to beat up on people? I'm going to take you somewhere. And he took me, and I sparred, and uh, I did good. And he was, like, mad. But it would happen Because he was time. hoping you'd get beat up and yeah. like get it out of you? He trying to teach me a lesson. Like, you want to beat people up? Say how, how I feel you get beat up. And I did good. He was looking like, uh, all right. And then after that, I just wanted to go every day just to fight. I could fight and not get in trouble. You were fighting in the streets at school? Yes. Did you know how to, like, fight? No, oh, no. Nah, nah, you just chucking? To, yeah, just just toe to toe. Just duck my head and swing. <laughs> were you that kid who were like, oh, you don't want to fight him? Yes, yes. Yeah, so you had that reputation in the, in the lunch yard like, oh, Maurice. Oh, oh, yeah. But why were you fighting? I just love to fight. Were you like picking on people? Nah, nah, I don't like picking on people. I don't like bullies. I mean. So they were picking on you? Nah, I don't pick on me. I mean, you say something wrong or you try to fight my friend, I'm going to fight for him. Okay. So it just know it was just known that you know yeah don't mess with Maurice's friends or him and his brother you know so don't start none because Maurice will finish it yes all right all right okay yeah. well, did you watch boxing as a kid yes I I watched it but it's just like here and there I want to just really just I want to be a boxer and I it just happened you know yeah I mean then as it's, as I started you know doing boxing I just want to go every day I love to fight I mean I had got braces on my teeth when. Uh, and the next day, I was in the gym, sparring. I had You're blood everywhere. <laughs> but, but they said I don't spar. They gave me some wax to put on my braces. Yeah. Man, I got some tissue. I wet it up, put it on my braces, and I was ready. <laughs> As a parent who just paid for braces, yeah. I'm mad at you right now. <laughs> because, like, no. Yeah, I had to go back to the bracket, broke it, broke, everything out. Oh, you, you, that's another story yeah. for another day. You, you're going to know about that, too. Yeah. When you... uh. We'll go back and you think about it because we've all seen the schoolyard fights, right? Right. Especially now on on YouTube, everybody's posting yeah. everything. Yeah. And also, um, dude, if you if you're recording a fight at school, don't post it because you're gonna get in trouble anyway. Yeah, don't do it. But you see some of the kids fighting, they're like, like this, yeah. or doing this, they or post like, no way. They're, yeah. they're, they're, and people, oh, they can, buy, they're doing all this. <laughs> Is that was that you or nah. you got a little style? Nah, I ain't had no style. I just go <laughs> straight forward. <laughs> I ain't waste no time. Straight forward. I charge them. Cause you got, cause the teacher's coming. Yeah, you got to. You got what, like five or ten seconds, you know, just <laughs> get a good lick in, just straight for it. I mean, hey, is it, is it then on me? Yeah, but that's like the stuff when you grow up, and it's like, oh, the schoolyard fights, and it wasn't yeah. like you, like I said, not that I was calling you a bully right. or anything like that, but it wasn't. It was just more of there's some kids who just know are gonna yeah. be up to something where it's like if somebody throws a ball at them in PE, I'm like, yeah. all right, there's a fight coming, right? And yeah, yeah, just I just love defending people, and uh, you were defend, you were more defending the people. Right. So, but in my school, like, if you fight in this hallway anywhere and you foul, everybody going to stump you. Oh. Like, the whole school going to stump you if you they're foul. They're jumping in. Yeah, they're just going to stump you because you <laughs> fail. So, with me, I can't foul. So, if I know I'm going to fight and you get to talk, I'm just going to swing while you're talking because I'm not going to foul. <laughs> <laughs> How many of those people you think who you fought as a kid were like, man, I fought him. Yeah. That, I, that was a professional. It's, it's a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them. As I get older, then I start having, like, group fights, little mm -hmm. gang fights, and it's just... It just I just love fighting. You yeah. mean? I just now I see people like me. You know, it's just, it's just who be young. It's just over yeah, it. You just dumb. Yeah, you know, now as a parent though, if you heard your kid got in a fight, I mean, now my kid fight, I'm not gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm be, It just depends. It depends how it turn out. Yeah. If he out there fighting, he losing. I'm. A, I, come on, son. I thought I taught you better than that, man. You making us look bad. You got represent our last name. You know, so if he if he win. I'm out for it. I can make hard for the moment. Why you at that fight? You don't know you're supposed to be fighting, but I'm not gonna be no bully. Don't be no bully. Yeah, bro. yeah. Don't be the bully, but yeah. like also, if you're gonna get suspended, might as yeah. well. You gotta win. You gotta win. If I'm a <laughs> what a conversation we're having. <laughs> I thought you'd be doing. Yeah. 
I mean, if he if he lose, then we like, I gotta whoop his butt. Yeah, but okay. also make sure you're not the one starting the fights yeah. either, right? If We're not condoning school yeah. fights here, nah, people. Nah, I'm I'm against it, but if he defending himself and yeah, and they don't if he get beat up, I know the next day the bully gonna keep picking on because he not gonna beat him up. Yeah. And that's how it is. But if he win, I know the bully ain't gonna mess with him no more. So. I'm gonna tell my son, it's a different time, man. Yeah, it's I mean, a different. I mean, not long. You're not that much older. Right? It's yeah. Like it's, times are different now. Yeah, I mean, it's just now you got camera phones. They, it's just so much technology. But growing up, we ain't had no phone. We fighting up out here. They can hear about mad. Man, I ain't like ten stories going around. <laughs> or he won. He got beat up. And just so many stories yeah, around he, now. He, he fought that six foot eight yeah. guy <laughs> who's only like ten years old, right? Yeah. <laughs> like the tall tales. Yeah, now you got the phone. Now like, he go right here. Yeah. yeah man, I mean, just so much good. going on. Yeah, but it's a uh, more seeing school kids. Yeah. Do your homework. Oh, yeah. Listen to your parents. I, do your kids forward. fight? Uh, do they box? I won't let them. You won't let them. Nah. I don't want. I, they you want know, a to. Lot of, a lot of pro fighters say that about. The, they'll take him to the gym to train mm-hmm. to learn yeah. discipline, but not fight. I mean, he come train with me, watch me, but I just know boxing takes takes a lot of discipline. I mean, with me growing up and starting at sixteen, I know I can't go to you know high school parties or nothing because I don't have to get up and train. Or I got a tournament this weekend. I can't eat this. I can't eat that. So I missed out on so much growing up as a kid. So I want my kid be a kid as long as he can. I mean, don't do it. But if he really want to do it. I tell him, man, I don't want to train him. Somebody else got to train him. Because if, if I train him, I'm going to be hard on you, man. Take your butt and go to sleep. No, you can't eat that. You ain't no McDonald's. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, you got to eat a salad. You know, just, I'm going to be hard on you. But I don't want to train him because I don't want to keep our relationship. See, you say it's being hard, but it's also because you've been there, done that, the yeah. rigors, and you understand the discipline that it takes. Because a lot of people say, hey, I want to do this, and mm-hmm. then they go do it, but they want to cut corners. You can't yeah, cut you, corners in this business. Man, you can't, like, it's any box. So you, you have a son, you... You know what it is. You know you can't cut counter. So you're going to be hard on them just to teach them discipline, first of all. If you want to do something, you got to put your all into it. I don't want you to boss and then, nah, I want to do it, but I don't want to do it. Now, if you're going to do it, you're going to do it all the way. So I don't want to train them because I ain't going to play that. Yeah. If you're going to box, we're going to give our all. We're gonna, every day, we get up and run. We got to train. Ain't, ain't no, I don't want McDonald's. I don't feel like training today. That. Can we miss today? Nah. So, I mean, I don't want to train them. Somebody's got to train them. Because if you're coming to me, I'm going to be on you. And that's not just your, anybody that comes to you, right? Yeah, anybody. Because I don't want to waste my time. I don't waste his time, my time. I, I just look at it like I, I, grew, I grew up, and it's like every day in the gym with different kids. By this week, we ain't seeing them no more. But this month, we ain't seeing them no more. So it's just like you wasting time from everybody else. The coach coach could try put that time on me or somebody else who's still boxing, you know, who ain't giving up. So it's just, it's, man, if you really want to do it, give it your job. If not, why well, waste your time? Always waste your coach time. Always waste your parent time. You know, just. Let's do it. Mighty Mo, keeping it real as always, man. That's why I always love hearing your interviews. And like, this is the first yeah. time we've ever had to sat down yeah. together, but I always love your bluntness and your, your approach to it because yeah. you got that old school mentality of, uh, right. I shouldn't have to tell you to go run. You right. should already get it done. I shouldn't have to lace up your gloves. They should be ready to go. Yeah. You have yeah. to be a professional. I, I always, I mean, that's anything you do. My son, my son, he loves soccer. He stopped playing soccer because he, he won't play baseball. All right, you want to play baseball? Give it, no, play basketball. He want, I do a job. He stopped playing basketball because now he going to do baseball. Give it your all. Oh, yeah. Now he just, he doing that. He, he training every day. I only got to tell him, I like waking up in the morning and just hearing him outside, hitting the ball with the bat, him, my, both of my sons. You know, I, I like that. They have to play basketball. See, I, I had eight kids, seven boys. So in the morning, basketball, just everybody running around the house. So I, I ain't got no choice but to get up. <laughs> I get that knock at the door, do, do, do. What, what, baby? It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Dad, I'm hungry. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, God dang it, I get to make him a bowl of cereal. Everybody watch me make him, make him a bowl of cereal. As soon as I sit down, then I'm hungry too. <laughs> Why you didn't say when I was up already? I mean, they ain't wait till I sit down. I mean, I ain't, you know, just, so now I just fix everybody a bowl of cereal. They don't want it, you're going to get soggy. It's like army style, huh? Man, it's, 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 man, it's tough. Because want somebody hungry, somebody not. Somebody, you know, just they, kids that I was eating, running around, somebody sleeping, somebody not. So it's just my hair's always, it's going. It's going. It's going. No wonder you like to go train. Get them yeah, out of the way it. from the noise. I, I got to go. I mean, it's a break. <laughs> it's a break. <laughs> like, Mo, why did you run 30 miles yeah. today? Oh, man. <laughs> did a marathon. I mean, but as they get older, my daughter, I got one daughter, so she thinks she got it easy. Like, every day she asking for me to buy her something on the phone. Like, she sent me a little message. Can you buy this, buy it? I can't tell her no. So you know what I do? I ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> I ignore her. I don't, don't want to tell my daughter no. I don't want to break her heart. How old is she? My daughter is seven. Oh, it's going to get worse, man. Yeah, so I don't. I just ignore her. I don't see it. 
She asked me a question. I'm like, yes, baby. I'll be in there in a minute and not turn around and forget about it. So I'll go play with the boys. Cause I can't, I don't you know. can't I don't, say no to the girl. Yeah, I don't want to break her heart because she's my only girl, but she thinks she, she can get knows, over me, though. She I know what she's she doing. Yeah. She knows what she's so doing. I, I try to ignore it. Like, um, you know, just, you got to no, make, no. sure, you make sure you don't have the read receipts yeah. on your phone, bro. Yeah. I, saw, I know you read it, Dad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did she be coming, there with your phone at? I don't know, baby. <laughs> she caught it right there. Oh, there you go, baby. Right in my pocket. <laughs> Daddy ain't even know. <laughs> I ain't even. I ain't even know this, baby. Life advice, yeah. boxing advice, parenting advice, and how to avoid yeah. your your baby girl. But man, it's yeah. gonna get harder as you get older. You know, know this. My boys hate it. My boys hate that she get things she want. Cause I tell my boy, man, nah, man, I ain't buying you this, I ain't buying you this. Use your brother stuff. You're the same yeah. size. Yeah. Then she come like, daddy. She use a voice like, daddy. Oh. Look down. I, I blame like, this me. <laughs> what, baby? Oh <laughs> man. I said I be nice stuff. I, I be rough. I be rough to the boys. I mean, nah, man. You talk, you know, go on, go on. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. But daddy. Yeah. The boy sent her, go ahead, daddy, go say, hey, yeah, yeah, All the you. boys have cereal. She yeah. has cereal with berries and yeah. fruit <laughs> and oat milk. <laughs> she have it her way. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you'll see him Saturday live on The Zone. Then as soon as the fight's over, if you see him running out of the ring, it's probably because yeah. his daughter is, like, texting him saying, buy me some kind of stuff. I right? know you got some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you got some money, Dad. You just fought. God dang it. <laughs> they reported your purse, Dad. I know yeah. exactly how much Man. you got. Daddy going back to camp, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty Mo Hooker, man. Appreciate you as always. Man, thank you. Thank you, man. And good luck to you raising that baby girl. Yeah, I got a daughter, too, and it's like, it's so damn hard to say yeah, no, man. I mean, it's enormous. It's enormous until I can. And for the, for the boys right there, the, the Hooker boys that are watching, yeah. you ain't getting nothing, nothing. after this fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another edition of Go The Boy Insider. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.